Welcome to the summer edition of Quarantine with Clark, the show that asks West Dodge Station staff questions kids want to know and some they probably don't care about. I'm your host, Mr. Clark, and we have a few special episodes just to get to know some of the new staff here at West Dodge Station. So today, my special guest is our new special ed teacher, Ms. Gronemeyer. So first of all, Ms. Gronemeyer, I want to welcome you to the West Dodge Station family. Um, and then also just welcome to the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Fantastic. Um, I'm going to ask you a few questions, just really easy, so that the kids, staff, and families of West Dodge Station can get to know you just a little bit better, all right? Okay. Okay. First of all, where were you born and raised? Um, in Hastings, Nebraska. Right. Did you, then did you go to school? Where'd you go to school at? Um, at Longfellow Elementary School, and then Hawthorne, and then just the middle school and the high school in Hastings. Cool. And then where'd you get your degree at? Where'd you go to college? Um, I went to UNK, the University of Kearney. So you stayed close. I'm originally from Grand Island, so that it's the, the Tri-Cities, if I remember right. Grand Island, Hastings, and Kearney were always known as yep. the Tri-Cities out there. Um, do you have any brothers and sisters? I have a sister, and she's older. And, and she's she just works at Starbucks. <laughs> oh, cool. I, I, yeah. I, I would get along well with her, I bet. Yes. <laughs> Yes, what about, there's always coffee. Oh, absolutely. Uh, what about pets? Do you have any pets at home? Yes, I have um, a cat, um, and her name's Vanellope from the movie Wreck-It Ralph. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Um, hobbies. How about, do you have any hobbies? Um, I really like being outside and riding my bike, um, going on walks, and I really like putting, putting puzzles together. Oh, that's a great pastime. That's probably something you did a lot over the summer, I'm guessing. Yes. <laughs> what about hidden talents? What, what's something that you can do that maybe a lot of people don't necessarily know about? Probably put puzzles together. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just just not, nothing hidden? Um, I can keep plants alive, actually. Um, I'm not a plant person at all, and I have kept plants alive for about a year nice so i, so I think I, that's pretty that's pretty good that is a that is a big deal i i uh <laughs> when i first started teaching i i would tell kids if you're going to bring me a plant make it be a cactus because i can't that the cactus pretty if you kill a cactus you're definitely doing something wrong yes <laughs> all right so what has been one of the most exciting moments of your life Mm, probably graduating from college. Nice. I, yeah, that was definitely uh, definitely an exciting moment for uh, for me. Um, yes. So growing up in Hastings or, or in that area, what were some of the jobs that you had or maybe an odd job or a strange job that you held? Um, I don't know if I had any like strange jobs, but I had a lot of jobs in daycares. And then I also worked at Dairy Queen. Oh. Um, so I guess just kind of going from Dairy Queen. Oh, and I guess I also worked at Taco Bell. So I guess going from um, food. Oh, we kind of froze up a little bit. So yeah, Dairy Queen. I, and, you know, I used to work at the competitor of Taco Bell, Taco John's. So uh, <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, Outside of education and teaching, what would be your dream job? Um, probably have like a cat cafe or something with cats because I love cats. <laughs> That's awesome. What my dream <laughs> job would be um, to have a cafe where you could have pets, so cats and dogs and stuff like that, and sit in there and drink coffee and pet the dogs, yes. pet the animals. That's Awesome. We, we're going to have yep. to remember that. We can go into business together someday. Maybe. Yep. Those are my two favorite things. So Perfect. <laughs> um, changing gears a little bit to some of the more fun questions, the goofier questions. If you could have one of the following superpowers, what would you rather be able to do? Would you rather be able to fly or would you rather have invisibility? Mm, probably be able to fly because then I can get places faster that and that's most people have said that the invisibility that can get a little creepy yes <laughs> so when you sing do you sing loudest in the car in the shower or both equally as loud 
Um, definitely in the car, so you can crank up the music and then you can just scream. <laughs> there you go. Um, if we were to go sing karaoke, what would be your go-to karaoke song? Um, probably like Material Girls. Right, from Madonna. There you go. Yep. All right. Going to get into the lightning round. I'm going to ask you a few questions very quickly. Um, I want you just to kind of think of the first thing that comes to your mind. Uh, but it's all about your favorite thing, so it should be really, really easy, okay. all right? All right, here we go. What is your favorite food and drink? Um, my favorite food is ham balls. And <laughs> what is it? Ham balls. Ham balls? What are those? Yeah. Like I don't know. My, uh, my mom's family makes them sometimes and they're delicious. Wow. You, you might, you know, you're going to have to bring those to school someday so we can all try them. Okay. <laughs> your favorite and drink. my favorite drink is probably coffee. Awesome. What's your favorite word? My favorite word? Yes. Um, probably taco because you can spell like the taco cat. You can spell <laughs> it both words. And that's always been really cool to me. Awesome. Um, your favorite sound? Um, um, the birds or the, like waves at the beach those are like just relaxing sounds cool your favorite smell pumpkin oh nice your favorite type of music christian music your favorite place to visit hmm probably like the beach Okay, and finally, your favorite fifth grade teacher named Clark. <laughs> do you have a favorite fifth grade teacher named Clark? And I don't. Actually, yes, I do you. Oh, there we go. That's <laughs> that scared me there for a minute. It's like, all right, you're going to have to come down to fifth grade, obviously. All right. A um, couple more questions before we finish up. Um, what have you kind of been doing over the summer or like last spring to kind of beat the social distancing and kind of the just to, to stay sane during the quarantine um been going on walks oh, riding my bike putting puzzles putting puzzles together um just those types of things i've also awesome. been cooking a lot lately and really? baking nice again you're gonna have to bring some yeah. some handballs to school <laughs> And then finally, what would you like to say to the staff, the students, and the, and the, uh, the families of West Dodge Station? Um, I'd really like to say how excited I am to work with everyone um, and to meet everyone and to have a great year. Fantastic. I just want to give a huge thank you to Ms. Gronemeyer, Gronemeyer sorry, uh, for joining me today. Visit us next time for Quarantine with Clark. See you soon. Mm -hmm.